Why does chocolate sometimes look dull or feel gritty? It's all about the crystals inside. Chocolate contains cocoa butter, which can form several types of crystals. Only one type, called Form 5, gives chocolate that shiny look and perfect snap. Tempering is the process of encouraging these specific crystals to form, transforming ordinary melted chocolate into a smooth, glossy masterpiece. Tempering starts by melting chocolate to a high temperature, usually around 45 degrees, 113 degrees. This step breaks down all the existing cocoa butter crystals, essentially resetting the chocolate's structure. Without this reset, you can't control which crystals will form as the chocolate cools. It's like erasing a chalkboard before drawing a new, precise diagram. Total control from the start. Next, the chocolate is cooled to about 27 degrees, 80 degrees. This is where the magic happens. As the temperature drops, different types of cocoa butter crystals start to form, but only some are stable. If you cool too quickly or too slowly, you'll get the wrong crystals, leading to chocolate that's dull, crumbly, or prone to melting in your hands. Precision is everything here. After cooling, the chocolate is gently reheated to about 31 dirks, a dirk for dark chocolate, or slightly lower for milk and white varieties. This final step melts away unstable crystals, leaving only the desirable Form 5 crystals. The result? Chocolate that's glossy, firm, at room temperature, and melts beautifully in your mouth. This careful temperature control is what separates professional chocolate from homemade mishaps. Tempered chocolate isn't just about looks. The right crystal structure gives chocolate its signature snap and smooth texture. It also prevents fat bloom, the white, streaky coating that appears when cocoa butter separates. Properly tempered chocolate resists melting in your hands and has a longer shelf life. That's why chocolatiers obsess over tempering. It's the difference between a luxury treat and a disappointing bite. There are several ways to temper chocolate, but the most common is the seeding method. Here, you melt most of your chocolate, then add finely chopped, unmelted chocolate to cool it down and encourage the right crystals to form. It's a clever shortcut that makes tempering more accessible at home without fancy equipment. The key is patience and constant stirring to ensure even crystal formation throughout the batch. So, the next time you bite into a perfectly snappy chocolate bar, remember, it's not just luck or good ingredients. It's science in action. Tempering is a blend of chemistry, precision, and a little bit of artistry. Mastering it unlocks a world of glossy truffles, crisp chocolate shells, and desserts that look as good as they taste. Ready to try tempering your own chocolate masterpiece?